Hey everyone, welcome to Retro Adventure Wednesday on a Thursday. I am Pontoon Boat Legend, Decap Jedi, aka Jess, also a Genuine Mountaineer, and I'm here tonight to play Beverly Hillbillies, a 1993 point-and-click adventure game that I think is going to be uh, pretty exciting. Before we do that, though, uh, I have an important uh, update. I see that Grayson has demanded in the chat to know what Shejuan food I had for dinner. I had dry chili pepper chicken and it was amazing it's like the most umami flavored dish i've ever had in my life and my taste buds are still tingling low many hours later after having eaten it <laughs> welcome glad you could all be here this is a terrific crowd glad to see everybody kira salashe kevin nba dad grayson aid mark pickled dog kobold marjorie tom anyone else i've not mentioned so glad to see you all here it's uh it's awesome uh, to see you. Is my title censored? Is that really a thing? Um, did they did they not like the word hillbilly? Is that uh, is my title really censored out? <laughs> what does it say on my end? It's showing it. Um, hey, Metali, um, looks normal from here. Weird. Who knows? Um, but yeah, let's get started on this. I'm super excited to share this uh, this really strange uh, game with y'all. It is. Not great. <laughs> Stretch of the imagination. It's one of those games that's so not great. They actually printed an entire walkthrough for the game in the instruction manual. With the heading, let's see here. What does it say? This file is, it, is provided to enable the user to walk through the Beverly Hillbillies computer game. If you wish to fully enjoy the game, we suggest you use this file only to help you through those parts of the game you cannot solve on your own. The walkthrough below will skip many of the game's cuter elements and dialogue. So be sure to explore the vicinity and talk to everyone. So here we go. Uh, let's just jump right in. All right. I've only played the first like half hour of this game. Uh, so maybe it gets really awesome in the end. I've been talking about how terrible it is pretty consistently. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. We'll give it a shot. Let's get it launched here. Synergistic. Maker of fine computer products. Oh no, it's crashed. Straight back to prompt. This is the best gag in the entire game. This, this works. This is very good. <laughs> this is pretty clever. Look, now the little C prompts running away from Granny. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, indeed. Welcome, everyone, by the way. Thanks for joining me. Oh, man, I should sing along to this, but I don't know. I mean, the lyrics are, like, seared into my brain. Oh, there's Ellie Mae. I bet she makes friends with it. Aww. She's petting the C prompt. It went from fixed width to variable for her. Hey, Chudley Cannons. 
Oh, wow. So there's a Sierra connection here. That's fascinating, Todd. Okay. So, no call to adventure. No plot given. No nothing. You're just here. You're Jed. You're in Jed mode. Jed, what in tarnation are you doing lollygagging around? Fetch us something for dinner. Mark. Okay. So, you can't really interact with anything. <laughs> like, you can't look at anything. You can't pick anything up. It's just a cursor that adapts to whatever you hover over. You kind of, sort of, clip through stuff most of the time. Like, look at this really intricate background. I actually think the graphics look very good in this. They remind me of Legend of Kyrandia quite a bit. But nothing is really interactive. You can't look at stuff. You can't interact with it in any sort of meaningful way. We can't pick up a gun shell. We pick up a second gun shell. And we can pick up a shotgun. So we're off to a great start. Let's just sling the shotgun over Jan's shoulder. Yeah, the graphics and music are very charming in this. Let's see. So now we have a gun. And this is basically the story of the opening of Beverly Hillbillies, right? Like, uh... Poor Mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting for some food up from the ground. I don't want to spoil what came of bubbling, but uh, but we'll see soon enough. So now we're just going to go off and explore. Like right here, for instance, this is fun. You can't leave the screen to the left, even though it looks like you could. You can't go north. You can only go south from here. And this is all just going to be some sort of generic forest maze, basically. Notice how he just teleports around the screen most of the time. There's no real pathfinding. It's not lava that comes with bubbling epic potato fiend. It's even better. Alright. So we can't exit any direction now other than north. Yes, the exit icon is a four-directional arrow, which does not seem right, does it? So this, this is very good. <laughs> oh, such a good game already. Dance, Jed. <laughs> Son of L, that's a good point. We do need some tentacle action here. Wait, that's probably not a great thing to say, is it? This looks like you can go inside the well, doesn't it? It's just going north, though. That's a that's a cruel trick. Okay. Okay, so this rabbit. This is our first puzzle. It doesn't tell you have to do this. You have to chase this rabbit through the forest to this particular screen where when you shoot at it, you move on to the next part of the game. It gives you no hint whatsoever that this is your goal at this point. So you follow it around, which seems simple enough, but the catch is some screens have things that basically stop the rabbit from being able to proceed. Like if he comes to one of the screens with a rabbit hole in it, he just goes down the rabbit hole. I think that's gonna happen on this next screen. No? Okay, so he's running up. What I think we need to do right now <laughs> Oops. Those are all of our options. Nice menu work. Save game. Okay. Retro Tim. It's gonna be retro time, but oh well. Okay. Oh, Mike, you're team story time with Jess. I'm gonna try to get uh, some. You, know, I grew up in Appalachia. I grew up in uh, in the mountains uh, myself. So I'll try to come up with some uh, appropriately folksy stories. When I was five years old and just starting kindergarten, I had a couple of warts on my thumb and they made me really self-conscious because I was, you know, you have to hold hands with kids a lot in kindergarten and I just didn't like the idea of, you know, having warts on my thumb. It just didn't, it just, it, it embarrassed me a little bit. 
So I went to my grandmother and said, is there anything you can do about these warts on my thumb? And she said, well, the way to get rid of warts on your thumb is to prick them with a pen, rub a bean leaf on them, like a, a, green, leaf, a green bean leaf from your garden, and then bury that leaf at a crossroads, and then the next full moon, your warts will go away. And she did it, and they did. So <laughs> that's the story. It worked. It, it just worked. And, you know, warts are highly susceptible to, like, psychosomatic forces. Uh, if you read up on the research there, it's probably only because I believed it would work that the warts went away. But, yeah, my grandmother cured my warts by burying a bean leaf at a crossroads. <laughs> As one does, you know? She was apparently an Appalachian wizard. Yeah, this is, uh, this is right on. Okay, my discovers war remedies, Dr. Sater. Okay, we chased the rabbit into his hole. Not good. Okay, Jed just like <laughs> teleporting around the screen. Okay. Yeah, I may be a wizard. Nobody ever talks about that, but it's possible I'm a wizard. Okay, so basically what we need to do is drive that rabbit to one screen without him going down a hole. Which means you have to approach him from the opposite angle of where he came from over and over again. If you take too long, you starve to death. I think maybe I would. I don't know if Jed would. Like, I feel like if I took too long here, it's possible I could starve to death. Jed, I think, is more resilient than I am. I mean, eventually he would face, like, the heat death of the universe. But I don't know if he would starve. Yeah, Jed is our space wizard, so being, like, a... A mountain wizard isn't that far off. Thank you, though, for a deep story time with Jess. I had that one locked and loaded. I was like, what is the most hillbilly story of my own lifetime that I can share? And uh, that seems like a strong contender. Okay, we're going to try to flush the rabbit this time by going up from this screen, see if we can drive him north. Okay, good job, rabbit. Uh-oh. Bear. Okay. First of all, this is very good. To shoot your gun, you click your gun shell of the target you want to shoot at, which I guess that makes sense. How Shroud work the remedy works. The Beverly Hillbillies are from the Ozarks, um, which could put them like what in Arkansas, Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, kind of out in that region. So they're from a very different part of uh, the hills than I'm from. Okay, so we have the rabbit on the run. Let's see if we can make this work. Can the bear kill you? If you just stand there long enough, the bear will kill you. Okay, did I flush the rabbit straight back into that hole? Okay. So again, it gives you no sense that like, you're supposed to get this rabbit somewhere in particular. It's just like, hope you figured that out. Enjoy your game, dummy. You shouldn't have spent 49 bucks on this. Oh, Pickle Dog, you've redeemed a very exciting new channel reward. You've redeemed Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu. Which, the Billy Hot Dogs is a, uh, a local uh, sort of famous hot dog joint in uh, Lesage, West Virginia uh, that I've eaten at uh, a few times through the years. It's so famous, it's even featured in Fallout 76. Um, and they are known for their wild and crazy hot dogs. So let's see. I'm going to pull up their menu online. Um, and maybe we'll start with their, uh, their item they're most famous for, the Home Wrecker. The home racker is a 15 inch long, one pound weenie, which is what they call their hot dogs. So a one pound hot dog, imagine that, with two pounds of toppings on top of it. So that's a 15 inch bun, a one pound hot dog, with two pounds of toppings at Hillbilly Hot Dogs. The home racker. You can get this for $19.99. The two pounds of toppings include jalapenos, sauteed peppers and onions, nacho cheese, 
habanero, chili sauce, mustard, slaw, lettuce, tomato, and shredded cheese. If you eat it in under 12 minutes, you get a free t-shirt. That is the homewrecker dog at Hillbilly Hot Dogs in LaSage, West Virginia. <laughs> Drop it in the mail. That's right. Yeah, that is a redonkulous. Ooh, the hot dog festival. Yeah. Guy Fieri was, uh, was there once upon a time for the Triple D. It's been featured on the Travel Channel a bunch of times. It's a, uh, it's a popular spot. Everyone get on down to Hillbilly Hot Dogs. If you get in under two and a half minutes, which I think is their record, you also get it for free. So that's pretty great. If you can eat three pounds of food and... Oh, yeah, this screen, if you drive the rabbit to it, a hawk comes and grabs the rabbit and flies away with it, and you've just messed up again. Oh, no. Woke up, Web. I didn't realize I didn't have a cooldown on Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu items. Here we go. How about the Mothman? The Mothman Dog. That's a deep-fried weenie, chili sauce, Thousand Island dressing, two onion rings, and maters. That's $3.85. Deep-fried weenie, chili sauce, Thousand Island dressing, two onion rings, and maters. That's the Mothman dog. No moths, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, this is the most important part of our culture, too. Okay, you can't get around this tree. Jeb can't figure out how to walk to the other side of the screen. There you go, Jeb. You're getting it. Don't know what hot dog sauce was. How can you not know what hot dog sauce is? Oh, no. Grace and your tea tillbilly hot dogs menu, too. All right, here we go. Yeah, maters or tomaters. Yeah, that's definitely tomaters. Uh, you got it. Absolutely. Uh, sh sh how about the waza? dog. The Waza dog is a deep fried weenie, chili sauce, jalapenos, habanero sauce, barbecue sauce, nacho cheese, ranch, and shredded cheese. You can get a Waza dog for $3.75 at Hillbilly Hot Dog in Los Sage, West Virginia. Maters. Where I'm from, it's definitely not unheard of for people to unironically talk about maters and taters. Certainly, I heard that a lot growing up. But you simply haven't lived, Grace, until you've had proper hot dog sauce. The hot dog sauce is just, uh, just chilly. Okay. Yeah, like beef chili. Okay, do we think this might be the right route this time? Okay. Oh, no, Tom! This is getting out of control, everyone. I should have uh, should have thought more carefully about this. Okay. Okay, so Tom redeems Hillbilly Hot Dog Menu. Uh, how about the Strictly Business Dog? It's a deep fried weenie, it's chili sauce, it's mustard, it's onions, it's coleslaw, it's jalapenos, it's shredded cheese, and fried spam. Strictly business, fried spam, $3.55. <laughs> Hot dog description stream. That's what everybody's wanted all this time. Okay, which way did the dumb rabbit go? Okay, that's that screen. Dang it. Okay, let's reload. Oh, uh, this puzzle alone is just maddening. Like, this is the beginning of the game. It's awful. Oh, the Hillbilly Hot Dogs founder died last week? I had no idea. Oh, no, Anthony. That's horrible. And the fact that these screens don't line up in any kind of sensible way... Just makes it that much worse. Okay, this is the screen we need to drive him to eventually. This is where we need to shoot him. This is where the murder will take place. But... Okay. This is a good tribute. Yeah. 
did they make a sequel to this game? I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is it. This wonderful game that we're playing now. Okay, I'm going to consult the uh, the walkthrough at this point. Um, what I have is a map that I drew out of this area on a grid, and this walk as this walkthrough suggests you do. And the uh, the walkthrough tells you how to uh, flush the rabbit to where you need it to be without encountering the hawk or any other sort of uh, dangerous creatures. Okay, so there was. Let's let look at my map. And let me look at my walkthrough. Let's see. The rabbit can be found in scene A3. You cannot catch him or shoot him here. He runs away. If you follow, he continues to run. Avoid C2. That's where the hawk is. Um, you must scare the bear in B2. Okay. Driving from scene A3 to B3. Enter A3 from A4. So, done. Wait, is it done? Let's see. How can this be a video game, y'all? Okay, so... A3... To B3. Got it. To B2. So I need to go... Alright. need to go south. And then... <laughs> then this way. And then north. Theoretically. It should drive him north. All right, rabbit. <laughs> you're you're done for now. Still building chess. <laughs> no pressure. Okay. So now we've driven him to B two. Wait. Yes. Enter B2 from B3. Okay. I don't understand this anymore. Okay, this is a great place to save, though. There are only... Oops. I hit restore. Here we go. <laughs> Point and click succeed. There you go. All right. Go this way. The north. And, of course, you can't go north from this screen. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Even the UI is a little reminiscent of Kyrandia. Did I just lose the rabbit? Did you just go away? <sighs> hey, Grundy. Would you ever consider developing a sequel to this game? Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like someone should. Even if it's just like an indie tribute to it. I think it'd be worth like risking the lawsuit just to uh, really get your hands on this IP. This game has a door. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> People just like you just walk up to doors and then you're in the next scene. There's no door animation. Okay. So we just lost the rabbit. We just lost the rabbit, y'all. We've been playing for 30 minutes. And we're still trying to get this rabbit chased to the right place. This is unbelievable. Oh boy. Hillbilly hot dogs. Here we go. Alright, Jed. Um, we, we've hit... Yeah, Zach Mack, we've learned a lot about hot dogs. Let's get one more here. The Pinnacle of Entertainment Software. That's what they do at Pinnacle. Okay, Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu. What's a good one here? Oh, Out Wayne Dog. Uh, there's a nearby county called Wayne County, uh, not too far from where Hillbilly Hot Dogs is located. And rather than call it Wayne County, everyone around here just says Out Wayne. Like I'm going Out Wayne to uh, go to the swap meet. So the Out Wayne Dog. Nacho cheese, grilled bacon bits, chili sauce, jalapenos, onions and shredded cheese that's the out wayne dog if you're going out wayne to see a guy about maybe buying a hunting dog uh you would have maybe an out wayne hot dog on your way up there okay this is getting ridiculous <laughs> if you hadn't noticed y'all that are tuning in and watching this this is getting ridiculous i don't know if there's there's anything happening here 
I can't figure out how to find the, uh... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Anthony, Bitter Alpaca in the chat, uh, my, my IRL pal, uh, his dad's superintendent of the Wayne County school system, so he can tell you all about going out Wayne. He's famous. That's true. Yeah, he's like a local celebrity just being the son of such a powerful man. Is it time to restart and try from scratch? It's kind of feeling that way because now I think I'm not able to spawn the uh, the bunny. So let's see here. How can we... Is there a restart option? <laughs> nope. Um, Alright, I think that's now the move. So let's just quit. Alright. Great. We did it, team. We we got to we got to the end. Uh let's see if we can try this one more time and have a little bit more luck. Okay. Let's launch it once more. I have to wait for the rabbits to breathe. That checks out. Okay. Couldn't find the bubble and spoiler. That's right. Okay, GG. Let's, I guess, read the walkthrough. Oh my god. It's just something for dinner. Okay. Granny, we got this. Get my shotgun shells. Again, definitely no door animation. Now we're armed. Okay. Need to scare off the bear in scene B2. Let me pull up my map. This is where I really need a uh, another another screen to, to make this possible. The fact that you can't reliably move from one screen to the next, like that even when it looks like on screen that you can easily walk somewhere that the game just won't let you, it really makes all of this sort of travel that much more difficult. Much more difficult certainly than it needs to be. Up the rabbit detector, God I wish. Here's the screen guys, when we get here someday, this is where we're going to be able to shoot the rabbit, and it's going to be great. It's going to change our lives. Nothing will ever be the same. Uh-oh, it's the boar. Let's just go down. Okay. Hey, it's Jethro. Oh, didn't talk to him successfully. You should have judged your sights. That would be useful. Can you really not talk to Jethro? Oh, wait. Howdy, Uncle Jed. How'd I catch a jackrabbit? That's easy, Uncle Jed. Everyone knows you can, <laughs> you can make them go where you want if you come out from different directions. Heck, you ain't nothing but a dumb old bunny. <laughs> no match for us genuine geniuses. All right. <sighs> and I can't exit most of the directions here. Jed didn't even walk to the edge that time. Let's scare the bear away. Okay, so we're at the bear screen. Let's go back to our map. Come Jethro gets the lollygag and we don't. Because he has a sixth grade education. Okay, so what screen does the bunny spawn on? Let me look at my walkthrough again here. It's found in A3, so that's one south. Okay. A3 to B3. Wait. Let's scare off the bear. Okay. Driving from A3 to B3. Enter A3. From A4. Okay, so I need to go south. Save game. Hey, Cobra Commander. You're just in time. Things are really picking up. Uh, let's see here. Save game. Testing. That's kind of the word, testing. Yeah, it is, uh, it is definitely a video game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see you, though. Glad you could be here, Cobra Commander. If y'all aren't following Cobra Commander, make sure to uh, to, to rectify that uh, as soon as possible. 
You won't regret it. Okay. We've driven him from A3 to B3. Let me look at my map. So we're at B3. Now we need to enter B3 from B4. Okay. So go this way. Then this way. Hey, I'm a little teapot. Good to see you. I know, Sheldorn, that you were Dean Jess Pitches a uh, episode of Beverly Hillbillies. Trust me, if I can figure out this puzzle, we will get right back into that. Okay, so... Enter B3 from B4. <laughs> okay. To B1. Wait. Enter B2 from B3. So... B2 from B3. Hey, I think that means I just go north here? Is that right? Yeah, the art is really nice in this. It is the highlight of the game. Okay. C1. Enter B1 from A1. Okay. So let me look at my map. B1 from A1. Okay, so I need to go... Left, up, and then right, I believe. And this should be the solution to this god-awful puzzle. Hey, Jethro. You dummy. Okay, get away from this boar. Go, 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 Jed. Go, go, go. Okay. Is that actually going to be it? <sighs> this could be it, y'all. We've done it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Save game first. This is this is finally progress. Okay. We're going to get to make this happen. We're going to get to kill the wabbit. Whoo, honey is hard. Thanks for our game. <laughs> okay, and thank you so much, Cobalt Underworld, for slapping the burner sticker. Oh, we have lots of stuff piling up. First I'll hit the Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu. Redemption, Hillbilly Hot Dogs in LaSage, West Virginia. You gotta get there now. How about the egg dog uh, with ketchup, nacho cheese, scrambled eggs, jalapeno, and salsa for $3.55. That's a favorite at Hillbilly Hot Dog in LaSage, West Virginia. Okay, so pitch an episode of the... Beverly Hillbilly. So I promised I would get like an A plot, a B plot, and a title for it. So, okay, let me think here. Let me think. It's a Jethro episode. A plot is that due to a misunderstanding where Jethro walks into the room and their loyal Basset Hound is like sitting on the floor and a radio is playing in the next room. Jethro thinks that the dog is talking to him. He's actually hearing an announcer on the radio. And Jethro decides, like Dr. Doolittle, he can now talk to animals and decides to embark upon a career in veterinary medicine. And Ellie Mae oversees this whole, uh, this whole scenario, and she decides to have fun with Jethro. So the entire episode is her like following Jethro around as he talks to various animals. And with her wireless transistor radio playing little bits of radio announcers to continue this ruse that Jethro can now talk to animals. That's the A plot. B plot is Jane Hathaway comes over to visit from the bank and she sees that Mr. Drysdell, I'm sorry, just she sees that Granny is uh, sort of flummoxed with the amount of housework she's doing. And Jane Hathaway says, with all the money you guys have in the bank, you should hire a maid to help keep the, uh, to help keep the mansion up and going. And at that point, Granny begins to suspiciously follow around the, the maid anywhere, uh, that she goes in the house because she's so good at cleaning, she's convinced she must be a witch, like that twitchy-nosed lady from TV. Um, so that's the B-plot. Um, we're going to call it 
Dr. Know Nothing after Dr. Doolittle for the A-plot, though. That's my episode pitch for an episode of, uh, an episode of, uh, of Beverly Hillbillies. So there you go. That's a, that's a, a fully formed, ready to go episode. Okay, so let's shoot this rabbit. All right. I can't hit it. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, up from the ground came a bubbling crude. Look at that. Texas tea. Oh, did you see the bunny come down on the front of the screen? You're a plum fool, Jed. How could you sell our family land? And for only one dollar. Now, Granny, Mr. Briggs has explained it's a new kind of dollar. It's called a billion dollar. You're a rich man now, Mr. Clampett. With your wealth, you and your family could live anywhere in the world. London, Paris, Beverly Hills, Atlanta? London, Paris? Listen here, you young whippersnapper. I've lived all my lives in the USA, and I ain't fixing to leave now. All right, Granny, that leaves off all them foreign places. Well, whereabouts should we go? Mr. Briggs, where do you live? We're almost the opening credits. You've made it. Atlanta. You know, I think Beverly Hills might be perfect for you. That's a pretty good gag. How do I get to Beverly Hills? Practice. Head out on the highway and follow the signs to LA. Okay. So, this part is really something else, I have to say. So, it's a long, long way to LA. The solution to this puzzle is watch the signs telling you the distance to the L to LA. You want that to get shorter. So right now we are a long, long distance from LA. And I can control that. It's still a long, long way to LA. At this point, to get closer to LA, and you can only learn this through trial and error. Let's see here. So <laughs> begin the trip in the topmost lane. You just have to drive in the topmost lane for a little while. And then it'll eventually tell you if you're getting closer. So when it says historical monument ahead, now it's only a long way to LA. So that means you go to the middle lane. If you're only a long way away, you just move to the middle lane. Now it says on the way to LA, we're going to move back to the top lane. Yep, here we go. Now it's back to the top lane. <laughs> now it says short time to LA, you move to the bottom lane. Okay, now it's bottom lane. Makes no sense. Why would it have to make sense? <laughs> oh, well, I hit that. So now it's back to the beginning. So we <laughs> go up to the top. <sighs> yeah, this is an actual video game. Oh, you can also drive backwards if you want to. <laughs> Music's pretty good. Yeah, no, this isn't bad. So we're going to do this until we get to long way to go to LA. Then we go to the middle lane. Now, I'm not holding left. It automatically goes left, but you can choose to go backwards. Rattler migration. Okay, so on the way to LA is back to the top. Yeah, it is nonsense. Again, I think this is why the walkthrough is printed in the manual. Like, just none of this makes any sense. There's, I don't think any way you could just intuit this except for just pure luck. Okay. So we want to get off at the exit that says, I think, BMWs only. And that will get us where we're going. Hey, it's the Ace Ventura Freeway. Oh, here we go. Hey, this is our exit. Look at the police. Is the lane cha No, the lane changing is actually required. If you don't do that, the signs never say your distance to LA is changing and therefore you can't make any progress. So if you don't actually follow the signs, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's where it's at. 
Oh, this is actually Cerebral Arcade. Your research uh, talk about the uh, difference between or difference between formal affordances that advertise what players want to do, and material affordances of the system supports and the player actually can do. A player has agency when formal and material affordances are made valid. This game only makes zero formal affordances. Oh no! <laughs> and now it's Police Quest. Yeah, but we made it. Let's see here. What does it say? Now the Clappet Clan has reached Beverly Hills, and they need only to find their new home. But where is it? Drive around and visit any mansion you see. The friendly neighbors will gladly guide you back to the LA freeways. Anything to get your neighborhood. Find the type of mansion in your section. Head north whenever you can go north. And go west. Okay. So north until you can only go north, then west. Oh, the Adelaide music's really loud. Boy, it is kind of loud, isn't it? Let's see if I can tone that down a little bit. Volume mixer. Pull it down just a teensy bit. Okay. So north. West. Oh, it's Rodeo Drive. Wait, why am I here? What happened? Go to Giorgio's. Welcome to Giorgio's. May I help you? Just looking around. I'm afraid I have to ask you to leave. You're scared away of paying customers. How many big houses can there be? No. Is the music a little bit now uh, balanced? I, I went in and changed some of the settings. Is it a little less obnoxious? Why am I just on the street now? Kissing cousins. I didn't stop the car. I guess I did drive to Rodeo Drive. Hi, pal. What can I do for you? Sorry, my Rolex is in the shop. Classic. Moulin Rouge. <laughs> no, this is... This game is puzzling on every front cerebral arcade. It is really just impossible to comprehend how it was made. <laughs> Maybe someone at the bank can help me? She got the great dithering, though. Oh, wait, this is all there is? Now you go into the bank, you just, like, help yourself into one of the offices. Oh, wait. Jed couldn't figure out how to get there. Yeah, I guess that's locked. We just aren't getting any sort of feedback on it. It's quieter, but no less obnoxious. Yeah. I don't know how to get back to my car is the problem. Okay, I'm just back where I started. Oh, you have to exit that screen from that direction to get back in your car. Oh, is it not moving anymore? Is this just... Okay. <sighs> Finding your house is a great puzzle. Like, oh, is this it? I think it is. This is Ludo Narrative Harmony. You're confused because you're role playing Chad. Yeah, he just doesn't understand this world of Beverly Hills he's still thrust into. We're not one of those banks that lost the door just because we're closed. Yeah, I mean, this is worse than Ace Ventura. Ask them to send a maid, not a gardener. I guess there are some shrubs in the back of you pruning. I'll pay you $4 an hour, but not a penny more. Oh, hey, here's a great thing to say to someone. You sure smell right pretty, ma'am. By the nerve. Of course I smell nice. I'm Carrie Mae Donalds of <laughs> Carrie Mae Cosmetics. My company makes the finest perfumes in the world. That'll deal with dirty old men. All right. Yeah, I think this might be the worst adventure game I've played on stream. I mean, there's just... Aside from looking kind of nice, I don't know if there is a redeeming quality. Oh, it does have big Roger Rabbit NES vibes to it, doesn't it? 
This is like the Munster house. Oh, I guess there's just nobody there, huh? It's just not going to tell me that. It feels very unfinished. Is this the mansion? Is this the Clampett Mansion? Well, this is a very nice place. This has like a a ski resort sort of feel to it. Oh, is this the same woman from last time? Is she just the rich person in Beverly Hills? We should play the Clampett Mansion. Oh, great. All right. Well, this is great. I mean, good for them for making all of these uh, all of these scenes just for people to. Uh, <laughs> Wait. Hello, it's me. Is this plot? We've got a new pigeon in town. Some hick named Clampett. Yeah, oil money. We should think of something fast. People that dumb don't deserve to be rich. <laughs> it's Crunch. It's the app that everybody wanted. I can't believe it's not still hotly contested. Okay. You've yet to find our house. Someday. Okay. Dead end. My walkthrough said I always go north and west, but I'm starting to doubt that. Wait, that's where we came from. Let's go here. Oh, Could this please be our house? Please, can this be the Clampett house? A tramp at classes. Yeah, everybody here hates. Hill fault. Who are you? I'll warn you, I've got a gun. Go back to Watts or East LA? I'll turn sacred. Ugh. Well, that went from just classism uh, to some weirdly misdirected racism. I'm gonna help you rob one of my neighbor's houses? Leave us alone. Wow. Yeah, big wolf. I'm <laughs> tired coffee break at Carol's Caffeine Castle. God, I wish. You see, we all bag on how bad Police Quest is and everything, but. I mean, it is literally nothing compared to this, right? I mean, like, Police Quest looks like Monkey Island compared to a game this bad. Nobody can find your house. Okay, well, that's not it still. I guess we just keep driving around until we find a house that somebody will let us own. I like that Jed's only inventory item is a single billion dollar bill. Could this please be my... Please be my mansion. Oh! Still not my mansion. Oh my gosh. Yeah, people in Beverly Hills really do suck. I, I agree, apparently. I'm afraid you're at the wrong house. I've already contributed gen generously to Farmer's Aid. Oh, what are you with? It doesn't matter. My accountant handles all my charitable contributions. You should talk to him. Please don't step on my prize-winning Bell's Bane. I'll try not to step on her Bell's Bane. <laughs> hey, Seabird. By the way, welcome everyone. I'm glad so many of you could join to watch me play through this truly dismal game. It must be the Clampet House. I don't think it is. I think this is where we went right from the beginning, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, story time with Jess. Oh, let's see. What is my next most mountainy story? I think I may have told this one on stream before, but I'll tell it again. So, when I was a kid, growing up, you know, a lot of kids have a security blanket. Um, and I had, growing up, a security pillow. Um, that just kind of, like, I used to hold it when I sucked my thumb when I was little. And then later, I just kind of liked, you know, having a pillow around when I was, like, you know, just, like, like doing kid stuff or whatever. And I named my pillow, and... With the innocence and naivety of a child, I named my pillow Mr. Sucky. So I had a security pillow as a child named Mr. Sucky. 
And I had a lot of, like, emotional investment in Mr. Saki. And when I turned 10 for my birthday, I got two gifts. Space Quest 1, which was a very good gift. And, you know, something I enjoy to this day. And the second gift from my father was a 12-gauge shotgun. And at that point, it became clear to me there was a specific plan in mind for the 12-gauge shotgun, which was we were going to take a death march out into the woods by my house to kill Mr. Sucky. So I'm asked to take my security pillow, a cherished uh, treasure from childhood, and carry it out into the woods and lean it up against a tree and with a shotgun shoot poor Mr. Sucky and just send his stuffing flying everywhere, which I did. And we left Mr. Sucky to die in the woods and I went home having murdered my childhood figuratively and literally and played Space Quest 1 the rest of the day. Which, I mean, a psychologist would probably say that something about that incident is why I'm still obsessed with video games and adventure games in particular at Space Quest to this day. Um, but, you know, it's what psychology. Um, so, there you go. There's a, there's a fun mountain story of tragedy and trauma. Oh... I can't believe that's real. It sounds like some sort of, like, awful short story that someone would write in, like, a, a grad program in creative writing. But sadly, it's it's the, the real truth. <laughs> Turn me into a serial killer Twitch streamer. <laughs> Cuddle Mr. Boomstick. It's even worse because, like, also the gun, as guns are... just a costume party here. The gun also left like a giant bruise on my arm uh, because those things kick a lot and I was 10. Oh, bus tours. Oh, hey, here we go, information. Postcards, yeah, get your genuine movie star sunglasses, maps of the homes of the stars. Would you like a real cowboy hat once worn by John Wayne himself? Or the Clampett Mansion. What movies was he in? I love that you can ask all these people how to get to your mansion, but none of them know. <laughs> Grew up in Florida, and even by that standard, this is a bit much. No, it was a bit much. It was a tragic childhood tale. Yeah, maybe I should get one of them there maps. Ugh. Come on, Jed. Okay. Right here, I'll take one of them maps. Ah. Is there a way to use the map? Nope. Now we have it, though. And I guess that cost our entire billion dollar bill. Oh, there was something on the sidewalk? Or was that? Uh oh. An important something on the sidewalk. Here? Oh, yeah. A squirrel. Now we're rolling. Oh, maybe the roadblock is gone now. Interesting. Let's go find out. There's just so much great content in this game. It just keeps on giving. Squirrel nabbed. Is this the way to Rodeo Drive? If this is the way to Rodeo Drive. Yep. But we'll go there. Not yet, anyway. Who's <laughs> the music? It's the noise. I mean, can you imagine, though, like, making this game and being like, yep, we did it. Alright. We fulfilled that contract. Okay, this is where the construction used to be, right? 
Have we done it? We've solved the puzzle. It says clamp it right there. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, you had to talk to the stand guy. Found out that construction had been completed. So that would be possible. Home sweet home. Can we not enter the house? Really? It does have a GTA vibe, doesn't it, Pickled Dog? Okay, team. We're really on our way here. I think we're like halfway done with the game. Hey, there's the cement pond. I go in the side door? Nope. Hey, we seriously need to break into our own house. I think we're gonna have to. Hey, Tom or Dean Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu. If you're ever in Lesage, West Virginia, and looking for a delicious hot dog, can I recommend... Let's see what's a good one. Chuck's Junkyard Dog. Chuck's Junkyard Dog for $4.25 includes a fried weenie, chili sauce, mustard, onions, ketchup, relish, coleslaw, sauerkraut, nacho cheese, jalapenos, and barbecue sauce. That's Chuck's Junkyard Dog for $4.25. And there are also some great uh, appetizers like the Boss Hog Nachos. That's Tostito chips covered with meat sauce, nacho cheese, jalapeno, sour cream, salsa, shred lettuce, shred cheese, and maters. And again, maters are tomatoes. <laughs> All right, let's see what we need to do here. So you pass the pool to the neighbor's house. Great, 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 great. I love how you can't look at anything in this game. These are really reasonably priced hot dogs. I mean, if, it's worth, I mean, the trip to West Virginia will pay for itself to some degree. Hey, it's Mr. Drysdale, owner of the bank. This game just picked up. Business is about to pick up, as they say. Mr. Clampett, I'm Milburn Drysdale, president of the Commerce Bank of Beverly Hills. I have the keys to your new home at the bank. I'll take you there immediately. Why, well, I'm most obliged. Oh no, what do we clip? <laughs> hey, that was a door opening animation. Okay. The majority of your assets are secured here at the bank. I've deposited some of your money in the safe at your mansion, however. The powers that be need not know where every single dime is, what with taxes. Yeah, tax evasion. Yeah, you see, Ben, you cannot click to look at anything. All you have is interact with items in your inventory, pick stuff up, or talk to people, or leave the screen, basically. It's, uh, it's really something else. All right. Taxes? Always oh, breathing down our neck. The IRS scares me out of my wits at times. Still, we managed to keep a little fortune or two hidden from them. Wouldn't we have to have our taxes pay for services for people in need? So I'll personally card the combination of that safe, rest assured. Thank you, Mr. Drysdale. Maybe I ought to know. Not to worry, Mr. Clappett. So what do you think of our fine financial institution? I reckon I don't rightly know, but I sure like your bank here, Mr. Drysdale. What a sense of humor. This is a financial institution, you know. Well, I'll be. Seems pretty relaxing here. But you know, my second cousin Earl used to live in the institution, and he was nuttier than a bullfrog in a hot skillet. So is his neighbors. Gave me the jitters. Investing crypto. Mr. Clampett, I'm honored. I've heard so much about you. Uh, Mr. Clampett, this is Woodrow Tyler, one of my finest employees. He's very busy handling your account and should probably get back to work. How do, Mr. Tyler? You seems like an upstanding young man. You ought to give my nephew Jethro a holler. I'm sure he'd be pleased as I'll get out to have her putty go pig wrestle and squirrel hunt. Actually, Mr. Clampett, I really am very busy. You should maybe consider having a get-together with your neighbors. I'm sure that you and your family would meet many nice people. Splendid idea. I'm glad that you thought of it. I'm glad that I thought of it. Mr. Clampett, we should throw a tasteful little cocktail party in your beautiful new home. I'll invite all the best people. A man of your means deserves the finest company. Sounds mighty grand. I ought to get back and tell Granny. She'll want to be rustling up some fixings and maybe a bit of possum stew. Mm -mm. That does sound interesting. I have the keys to your mansion right here. Let me drop you off on my way home. 
That Drysdale feller and his young helper was telling me that we should meet the neighbors. They was talking about something called a cocktail party. Cocktail? Dang it, Uncle Jack. We done left all the roosters back home. That ain't the kind of cocktails they was talking about. It's something big city folks do, but I reckon it's a lot like a hoedown. Hoedown? And me without dropping my tonic. I told you we should have used it when the Dagnap truck ran out of gas back in Kansas. Now, Granny, there's no need to go making a ruckus. Time's a-wasting. I'll get some fixings. Jethro, you get some wood and fire up the steel. But Granny, skedaddle. <laughs> could be no hoedown unless I got me a stock of my tonic. It'll put hair on your teeth and make you feel friskier than a fox at a chicken convention. <laughs> oh, man. Look at these. Uh... Oh, am I Jethro now? We have multiple protagonists, guys. This is like Maniac Mansion all of a sudden. Oh, God. Why is there a big giant mansion? Okay. A Drysdale suggestion. Okay. Go to the living room where the TV is and pick up the remote. Great. Let's go to the living room where the TV is. Suddenly, Jethro. That's my favorite song from Little Shop of Horrors. Okay. Game room. Again, look at all these nice environments where you can put in some cute little jokes and stuff, but... There's just no way to interact with anything. His father carefully passed on the map and dead squirrel. Now you take good care of this. This does look nothing like the Clampet House. This is not canon. Okay, you see this remote control here on the ground? That's what we're supposed to get. Is that Rod Stewart, do you think? His music video is very good. <laughs> I think that might be Rod Stewart. That looks like Rod Stewart to me. Yeah, they did have a widescreen. So this remote is not the remote to the TV. You might think, hey, that's the remote to the TV. And when you clicked it, you'd be curious why the game would say, like, that doesn't work. Or why it doesn't give you any indication of what's going on. Well, that's apparently the garage door open. I'm... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be a comedy. Um, yeah. So the remote control is actually a garage door opener, even though you put it in the one room with a television in it. So, let's see. Exit the mansion. Yes, this is based on the 1990s movie starring Sir James Varney, Dietrich Bader, uh, Cloris Leachman, right? She's in that. Probably some other people also. I'm guessing they had a full cast. <laughs> I'm thinking they probably didn't do like Eddie Murphy style multiple roles in that. What year did that come out? That's actually a really good question. Okay, let's see here. The backyard toward the left. Wait, what? Yes, Vader was on the Drew Carey show. Once upon a time. Oh, here we go. Jethro, the, uh, the, uh, Christ figure in this game walking across the pool. <laughs> I never knew that Jethro would be a Christ allegory in this game, but here we are. <laughs> I like how once you engage in conversation with somebody at a door, you can't leave until you've spoken to them. I need to get me some wood. There should be an axe in your garage. Oh, wait. There, he's, ah, here we go. I didn't see the garage there since it wasn't in the previous screen. <laughs> Soda machine. This game has a soda machine in it. In someone's garage where you usually put your soda machines. This game has a ding-dang soda machine. Who was expecting that? <laughs> it's like a mansion garage. Both your, both your power trails. 
I don't have that one. That, that's it. I found a lost soda machine. One that hasn't been documented by sight. The video game soda machine project. I take back everything I said. This is now a good game. I mean, you know I would 1,000% have a soda machine in my garage if I was left to my own devices. Okay, get the axe. Oh, doggy. <laughs> Okay, so this is great. Hey, Hero Lat, great to see you too. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could be here. It's true, I'm a little teapot. Yeah, this game has a soda machine. <laughs> Monkey Island had one, basically the same thing. Dang, that's a mighty tall fence post. Sure won't hold up. <laughs> and with all them wires stuck up top. <laughs> no need for animation, y'all. No need for him to even walk over that side of the screen. <laughs> we just chopped down a telephone pole. <laughs> now it's just a pile of wood. <laughs> we used our axe on a telephone pole. <laughs> and the game was like, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> it imploded. You're right, Scrub J. <laughs> oh my goodness. By the way, if anybody here is new tonight, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jess. I love to stream these retro adventure games, even the terrible ones. If you enjoy these sorts of games, consider dropping a follow. Glad to have you here. Let's see. Take the firewood to the kitchen. Here we go to the kitchen. This is the best game ever. Well, it jumped way up once there was a soda machine. I do think it's the best Beverly Hillbillies game ever, but actually it surprised me to find out. As far as Moby Games knows, I think this is the only Beverly Hillbillies game. Like, does this not seem like something that should have been, like, a terrible... Game Boy game at some point in history. Like, it just feels like it's made for that. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Seabid. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the crew. Welcome, welcome. It's the best and the worst. <laughs> yeah, they heard about adventure games like third or fourth hand, and this is what they came up with. I'm guessing the kitchen's in here. This is gonna haunt my dreams. I guess I could take it down a little bit more before it drives all of us insane. There, we'll put it at 22% volume. This is at 22% volume. Imagine how loud this would be at 100. <laughs> now we're ready for that there cocktail hoedown. <laughs> we just dropped our, uh, dropped our wood there and it caught fire, which is how stills definitely work. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of this chapter. So, Miss Clabbit, I heard that you're quite an athlete. Oh, shucks, I don't know. I've flopped a bear or two, that's all. Beautiful home, Jed, and I must say, what well, creative use for a billiards table. I thank you, Miss Smith. Are you enjoying our little hoedown? Certainly, it's very culturally diverse. Was that your cousin outside? Yeah, if you say you want to try being a valley and park cars for people. Oh, you mean he wants to be a valet. Mr. Drysdale, I just said that. Hey, who turned out the lights? What's going on? Oh man, that looked Lucas artsy for- Oh man! <laughs> Someone just hit Cranny with a blackjack and dragged her out! <laughs> oh no! It escalated very quickly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Granny. <laughs> hey Dad, this game doesn't need jokes to be hilarious. Oh, well, I'll be. That was mighty peculiar. It looks like Granny's missing. I think I smell something fishy. I wonder if Jethro saw anything interesting. Uh, sorry folks, <laughs> the party's over because there was a kidnapping. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> Ooh, is that a clue? Jethro has a little valet outfit. It's a bow tie. Jethro, did you see anything, you big goober? Howdy, Uncle Jed. Reckon you seen anything odd? 
No, Uncle Jed. Only thing I seen was that fella with the mask on carrying that big sack. Drove off mighty fast, too. Unbelievable idiot. <laughs> it's just the same. Uh, it's the same dialogue no matter what choice you make. It's the jealous rich lady on the phone. Now, Paul, not Pat, I don't want to jump to any, any conclusions here. We can't just blame her because she seemed a little suspicious and talked about fleecing us. Okay. Wait, there's a banana pill, I guess. I need to get in the kitchen now. Push you all to be so they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly. That's definitely not the melody to most of this song. Oh, a clue. A banana pill. We'll do something good with that. And we pet the dog. No. <laughs> you cannot interact with the dog. Oh, is this a clue? Oh. <laughs> We've got the old lady. Call the cops and she's possum stew. Await further instruction. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Let's go back out. Supposedly, Jethro was supposed to give us a clue in his dialogue, but boy, that just didn't happen. Oh, Jethro's just gone now? Well, oh, please don't tell me you have to drive. Yeah, it does feel like NBA Dag that they set out to make a humorless, joyless game. I will say I kind of like some of the dialogue. Like, I feel like it does the, uh... It does the hillbilly bit pretty well. It's going so awful. Yeah, like, why keep the driving sequences after you found your mansion? They're just not necessary. So, Rodeo Drive is where the bank is, right? You know, for those of you who are longtime viewers, you know that I once played an Ace Ventura game on stream that was just absolutely dismal. The Ace Ventura point-and-click CD-ROM game. And it was so bad I eventually gave up. I got to a puzzle that I just couldn't bear the thought of having to live through solving. And just gave up after several hours invested. I don't think this this game is at that level but it's also not like wildly far off from it. I'm gonna stick with it I mean remarkably I just looked at my stream time and I've only been going for like an hour and 15 minutes and it literally feels like days that I've been at this Okay. Ace Ventura Arcade bits were something else. Oh, they developed Homie D Clown. You know, I think that soda machine is very similar to the soda machine in Homie D Clown, which is also a very, very bad adventure game. From In Living Color, Homie D Clown, a game that definitely needed to be made. Gosh, I haven't saved in a long time. Seems like a huge risk. You think that's a such a hysteric moon? Only the finest. Okay. I don't even know what I'm writing anymore. Why is my game locked up? Is this it? Is this how it ends? Is... Oh my god. Oh no.
Oh no. No. No, no, <laughs> not like this, not like this. No, 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 uh -huh. no, Let's see where we saved. Thanks, Todd. Hey, Steph, you'll cheer me up by talking about hot dogs. Here we go. Hillbilly Hot Dogs memory in Lesage, West Virginia. Uh, how about Thundering Herd dog, named after uh, the Marshall Thundering Herd, where I work. A beef weenie, habanero sauce, nacho cheese, chili sauce, jalapenos, diced onions, and coleslaw. That's a Thundering Herd dog. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> Okay. What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> Thank you, man. That's what I did need to hear just now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jed isn't even on screen here. Oh, no. I thought we did, but it looks like the save and restore system's messed up because Jed is not on screen. <laughs> Stretch break, everyone. That's right. Oh my god. Okay, so this time when it loaded, neither Jed nor the rabbit were on screen. The save system doesn't work. <laughs> it's broken me. Oh my god. <laughs> How in this moment could you ask me to redeem? <laughs> to redeem story time with Jess. When I was young, we lived in a house with a coal burning furnace. My dad was a coal miner, so we could get coal cheap. And uh, we had a big coal bin that we stored our coal in outside. And one of my chores as a kid was supposed to be to haul coal from outside in the coal bin into the house so we could put it in our furnace and keep our house warm during the winter. But my dad brought home these giant buckets that were like, from the coal mines, they were probably about two feet high. And when I was a kid, I couldn't lift them high enough off the ground to put coal in them and not drag them. Literally, my arms weren't long enough. And I protested this chore, saying my arms aren't long enough to carry these very tall buckets. Um, and uh, it's like been a running joke in my family ever since. Uh, whenever uh, someone's asked to do something that they'd prefer not to do, they just say, um, <laughs> they should say my arms aren't long enough to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what you say in my family. To this day, we uh, my daughter says that occasionally still. So it's a heartwarming story. My, sorry, my arms aren't long enough to clean my room. I just can't do it today. <laughs> oh, hey, Hysteric Moon, I know. No, no, I'm so glad you're here. I hate that we all had to witness this. This broken, broken game. Let's see here. What can we do? Can we just keep loading this? No. Or some of our other... Restore points. I don't know how. Ah, there's that's how you choose a different one. Oh man. Oh no, did I mess up your game too, Steric? 
This is awful. Hey, you remember when that happened, everybody? Yeah, it wouldn't let me shoot the uh, thing even though I wasn't visible, as far as I can tell. Okay. Oh, wait. Jed just walked on the screen. This is going great now. We got this. Get him, Jed. Just, just wreck his little bunny ass. Man. Hey, there's the rabbit again. All right. We got a billion dollars. All right. Oh man, guys, this is uh, this is something else. This is really how to get to Beverly Hills. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, we get to see this great puzzle again. Okay, scenic view ahead. It's a long, long way to LA. These are the Beverly Thrillbillies. So soothing. It's a long way to go to get to LA. That means you go to the middle lane. Because that makes perfect sense. Again, this puzzle, it's so good. It's just such a good puzzle. Just a very good puzzle. Back to the top now that we're on the way to LA. Stranger in a car <laughs> because we're gonna see that seabed. This is a puzzle, believe it or not. And there's no signposting for it at all. You just have to figure it out. Now that you're a short way to LA, you go to the bottom lane, but you don't want to hit the uh, record that's going to be coming up in just a minute. Now we have to get off at the exit that says BMWs only. That's how you know you're in Beverly Hills. You don't go to the exit that says B <laughs> Beverly Hills. Okay. Oh, what puzzle's the worst so far? That's a great question. What puzzle is worst? Good team, what puzzle's been worst so far? Save puzzle may be the worst puzzle, yeah. A broken save function. Did he tell us this time that... Ah, just finish the road construction. Okay, that's all we need. Now, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid to try save two. That's a bad feeling in a game, huh? Sadly, we're going to get caught up really quickly, I think. We'll set to skip through some dialogue. Save game name, game of the year. Okay, that's a pretty good save game name. This is the way to Rodeo Drive, isn't it? Yep. Okay, wrong turn. How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? I'm fantastic. I spent all day on a boat. I was on a pontoon boat with my family, some friends. We just floated around on a lake all day. I still got that floaty feeling, like when you've been in a, on a boat or in a pool all day, just sort of like bobbing around in my chair. Wait, this isn't it. It's the Nazi woman with her dog. Yes. I save here. This feels dangerous. Okay. Even their UI for saving is really just troublesome. Using non standard characters is probably a great idea. That's the wrong way. Yeah, maybe you can't overwrite saves. Maybe that's part of it. Who knows? That's not it, is it? 
Yeah, it was. Okay, here we go. Perfect. This is going great now, team. We're just all over this. Dustbox is on my desktop, so I don't know. It's where cool people install their programs around the desktop. He cannot open his own front door. He has to go next door and talk to Mr. Drysdell, the banker. So if we don't go to that other woman's house, we don't know that someone's secretly planning like, to thwart us. Uh, most obliged. Okay, now we go to the bank. We learn about how banks work and taxes. <laughs> Other fun themes that you want to explore in adventure games. Taxes. IRS is scary. Rich people don't want to pay taxes. Spoiler alert. What do you think of our fine financial institution? Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Institution. All the characters look like they're just chewing gum before you talk to them. Yes, no, it's it's very good. Hey, that guy has a bow tie. Do you think he's the one who did the crime earlier? Since we found a bow tie at the scene? It's Woodrow Tyler. I think he is our villain. <laughs> Sadly, there's not even that much game left. Is what's really... <laughs> what's really wild about this. Yes, he lives in their wall off out so it's not yeah, across the pool. He's like in their pool house. Okay, possum stew, we're gonna have a hoedown. Here are the keys to your mansion, I'll just drop you off on my way. Like all banks, they just purchased a house for us to live in upon arrival. That's how banks work. Cocktail party. Gotta get the still up and running. Okay, ain't the kind of cocktails they was talking about. It was a show that ran for, like, way more episodes than you'd ever imagine. Like, I think it ran for, like, 350 episodes or something wild like that. And I watched a lot of them as a kid. It aired on TBS in the afternoons. And I watched so much Beverly Hillbillies. I'll be honest, like, back where I'm from, which is, you know, rural Appalachian sort of what people would maybe not so kindly call a hillbilly country. There was definitely like an embracing of the Beverly Hillbillies as like like a cultural phenomenon long after it was over that people like really latched onto. Yeah, the big Beverly Hillbillies uh, cinematic universe of Petticoat Junction, Green Acres. Yeah, no, it was a it was a phenomenon for a little while. Okay. If you're just joining us, we are playing the 1993 Beverly Hillbillies Adventure Game, a game that definitely exists. How fun would it be, though, like if you could just assemble a team of people who developed games to like create a game like this and claim it was a real game that came out in 1993 and stream it? And just like, sure, this is a real game. That'd be a fun little prank to play on Twitch. There's our soda machine. Oh yeah, I think this would only play in the U.S. and maybe it, maybe some other cultures possibly. I don't know, but yeah, so much of this I think is probably a very, you know, sort of American. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go here. So much of it really is like America centric. I mean, I guess the idea of a country bumpkin exists in probably most cultures, but uh, the the hillbilly variety of it is at least very American. On our way to get wood for the cocktail party. Like StairQuest. That's true. I mean, if we tried to pass StairQuest off as something that actually did exist back in the day, that would be very different. All right, this is great. Again, this is going to demolish that with his psychic powers. Oh, man. Yeah, you see a capstone game featuring the Coneheads is a very plausible, uh, a very plausible thing that definitely, if you told me that existed, I'd be like, yeah, sure, that sounds about right. 
That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Like, then all you need is a team of adventure game developers to create that game, make it as bad as a capstone game, and then try to pass it off as some sort of lost game. You know, mess with historians. <laughs> Lie to them. Alright, we do have that squirrel we have to deal with, Paul Not Pat. We're gonna have to really assess what we need to do there. I had to just permit the term hillbillies in chat. Has literally nobody said hillbilly all night? <laughs> wow, how's that work? Capstone is the game's publisher in this case, but they were notorious for making like bad media tie-in adventure games and other games. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, mostly when I was growing up, my experience was almost entirely LucasArts and Sierra. Oh, the suits of armor. There was a knight at the party. Hmm. The plot thickens. Let's see, what do I do now? Oh, wait, I didn't start the fire, did I? Yeah, there didn't start the fire. It needs to be burning for the cocktail party. Yeah, there didn't start the fire. Oh, you got a copy of the Sierra Adventure today, huh? As far as I've figured out, I haven't been able to go up the stairs yet. Okay, now we're back at the party. I want to warn everybody, if you weren't here when we got to this scene earlier, there is going to be a wonderful uh, assault <laughs> on Granny here that the animation for is worth the price of admission alone. So please, enjoy what's about to happen when the lights go out. Was your cousin outside? Gotta be in a valet and park cars. Okay, we're almost caught up now. Isn't this great? Okay, here it goes. Watch Granny in the corner. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's. I mean, the fact that there's a knight here that goes completely unremarked upon is very good. Like, that's a gag I am all for. I love how you can't, like, show him anything. Missing Granny. Uh-huh. Wish you could just, like, make him, like, look at things. But nope. <laughs> no way to use your inventory in any sort of useful way. Okay. Let's save game. We're basically caught up. A momentary <laughs> setback on our quest. <laughs> the chat didn't honestly say thwomp. <laughs> You're not living your best life. I agree. Okay, the G is for your game options. The O is for your other game options. <laughs> okay, it's your game settings and then game options. Of which there aren't many. Okay. So, we're on our way to Rodeo Drive to confront our suspect, Tyler. And accuse him of granny napping. A crime. In any jurisdiction. I don't think this is it. That ain't it, Chief, as the kids say. Okay. Let's just go back and forth on this little one path. It's fine. It's fine! Why do we need to go anywhere else? This is fine. This is great. This is content. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh no, that's really sad, Ziba. Uh. All right, Rodeo Drive. I think we're on the right track now. I mean, making the navigation one big giant not fun maze, I guess is one way to artificially lengthen a game like this, but oh my god. I like how Jed isn't even bothering to walk across the screens now. He's just teleporting to the next screen. That's really saving me some time. I appreciate the help, Jed. Wait. I walked in the bank. Oh, it's sad take me here instead. I clicked on the bank and it walked me into the balloon store. <sighs> Alright. Well, let's try again. Let's go to the bank and see if that works any better. Yeah, faulty saves really limp in a game. Please let me go to the bank. Hey, we did it. Hmm, where's your bow tie, Tyler? Mr. Clampett, uh, what can I help you with? Kidnap? How horrible. But don't worry, Mr. Clampett, I'll find Beverly Hills Police. who will surely recover. We have a Beverly Hills cop on the case already. Is this your bow tie? No. Oh, wait. He did take the bow tie. Did he? What happened with the bow tie? Look at him! <laughs> we put an anvil on the floor. <laughs> uh, we put a banana peel on the floor, and he fell. <laughs> now here we are. Okay. <laughs> Another murder. Nice work, Jed. Just pathfind your way right around that. Okay, now that we're in here, find the locked vault. <laughs> Is that you, Granny? <laughs> okay, so Granny's locked in the bank vault. Take some of my tonic. Okay. Is this the movie plot? I have no idea. Do you think that we messed up with the bow tie earlier? It disappeared after I used it on him. And I don't know if it gave me any kind of feedback. He's just gone now. He's gone forever. I wonder if we gave ourselves a, a dead end with that. This will know eventually. What? You, know, you start out with a bad game. And you think to yourself, how bad can this game be? And then you start to play it and you realize, actually... This bad game is worse than I expected it to be. How freaking buggy is this game? Yeah, no, it's not great. Okay. So let's see. Granny's inside. Now that you know where Granny is, you need to get her out. There's no way to open the vault. Her muffled voice mentions the tonic. Let's make some tonic. Go to Granny's room and find the recipe book. This is not the movie uh, plot. Hey, sir. Hi, Barry. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a terrific Thursday night. I'm so glad everybody could be here tonight for this terrible game. For spending this evening with me. I'm doing great. It's not a bad day. It's not a buggy. It's their car. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, this game. This quote-unquote game. This has a lot of the hallmarks of video games, though. Like, there are several things about this that are similar to what you might expect to find in a video game. It's not unlike a video game. It's more like a video game than a lot of other forms of entertainment. <laughs> hey, hey, Grayson. You see, this is why I respect you. You're a truth teller. You're not afraid to get in the chat and just say, this game's not a good game. And that takes guts to be someone just willing to throw you know, their hat over the fence, and just, you know, just put it out there. 
How does Studio wind up making you a Diablo expansion? Isn't that a beloved Diablo expansion too? Hey, you can go upstairs. This opens up a whole new world. Hmm. Interesting perspective on this room. Scissors. Sweet. Pretty nice bathroom, though. First tarnation, then Hellfire. Yeah, like, Hellfire is a beloved uh, Diablo expansion. It's sort of wild to think about. Anything here? It's gettable. We get it. Nope, just a room that you can't click on anything. Thanks, Beverly Hillbillies. Don't bother to animate those doors. Just clip right through them, Jed. This is where Granny sleeps? Granny has a big round bed? Hmm. <laughs> Tonic elixir. Corn mash, dried bell vein, squirrel fat, skunk water, bear paw, weasel hair, sugar. <laughs> that was the bad at Dark Ford. Granny, yeah, I mean, Granny's sex positive. It's something they don't talk a lot about on the show. But, you know, that's important. That's an important part of her character. Okay, from the garage, get the bolt cutters. Oh, you guys aren't going to believe this next puzzle. We haven't gotten the squirrel yet in this playthrough, so I guess we'll just have to drive around until we find that again. Fetch the Bolt Cutters. Absolutely my favorite album of uh, of the last year and a half. I absolutely love Fiona Apple's Fetch the Bolt Cutters. Everyone, if you haven't listened to Fiona Apple's Fetch the Bolt Cutters yet, you need to, uh, you need to take care of that ASAP. Such a good album. Okay. We see something in here. It says, let me make sure. From the garage, get the bolt cutters, it tells me. Hmm. Well, it's really too bad Chad won't just offer feedback on any of these items. I mean, those look like the closest... Ah! He just had to click a little harder. I wasn't clicking hard enough. Imagine releasing an uh, adventure game with just completely broken pathfinding. Like, yeah, it's good enough. You know, Apple actually still makes really good music, I would argue, Marjorie. It's worth checking out. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can do this, Chad. You can figure it out. Nope, you just had to restart back where you began. So watch this. <laughs> That was a single click. That wasn't me messing with it in any way. Okay, so we just used the bolt cutters on the bear, and now we have a bear paw. Jen just walked over and cut the paw off of the bear skin rod. Hey, it's Eric, man. So glad you could be here. Have a terrific evening, or day, I guess, there. I hope to see you again soon. Okay. <laughs> so now we have that. Go to the library and get corn. Good luck with the rest of this experience. I think that is a very good way to put it. <laughs> what? Wrong one. Where was the library? I mean, this isn't it, is it? <laughs> you would see corn around? Mm, the bear rug. Clearly, I need to use bolt cutters on it. No, honestly, that by the, by the standards of this game, that's not... Uh, far off. <laughs> Circular bed, very cocaine sheet. Absolutely. Is this the library? Where library? Hey game, where library? If you just tell me where library, that would be super helpful. Where's this door go? We'll never know. Can I pick up any of this fun party stuff? Oh wait, there's the 
note. I forgot we didn't see the ransom note this time. <coughs> Pardon me. Call the cops, just pass some stew. This room looks like a 70s pizza hut. Well, it does. Okay. A back door into the kitchen. Nice, nice. I don't see corn there. Okay. <laughs> so, Paul, your Dean Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu. Let me see what I haven't talked about yet. Ah, here we go. This one's, uh, what else is in the news? Stacy's Flu Shot. Stacy's Flu Shot is, uh, a fried weenie, what they describe as a whole lot of jalapenos smothered in our chili sauce. That's Stacy's Flu Shot for $3.45 at Hillbilly Hot Dogs in LeSage, West Virginia. Thank you for redeeming that. Thanks, Super Gamer Mark. The game is as bad as advertised. It's maybe worse. This music's trapping you inside. Okay. Was there a giant floppy in the kitchen? Was there a giant floppy in the kitchen? I didn't even notice this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I see it now. Yeah, Marjorie, I wonder too, like, you know, if the expectation was, we'll sell this to some dumb little 10 year old kid, and they're not going to get anywhere in it. Okay, we need to find a library. It's the library. Oh, the Jed, he's floating. There we go. Now we've done it. Is it upstairs? I don't think it's one of the three noticeable rooms upstairs, but I mean, I don't have a better idea. TBH. Is this game haunted? It could be. Okay, this does not look like a library and I don't see any corn. We're just trying to go to the library so we can find some corn according to the walkthrough. You know, when you want corn and you go to the library. Like, this is the room with some books in it. But I don't see corn. Oh my god. And the other room's Granny's sex dungeon. So it's not in there. Is there a room in this mansion I haven't seen yet? Is that what's happening? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? Ah, hey, there is a room in the mansion I haven't seen already. I thought this was just the exit from the other direction. <laughs> yeah, Grady, I've been thinking the same thing. Like, it's most of the melody of the Beverly Hillbillies song, but not quite all of it. This definitely feels more like a library. And it's very adorable that Ellie Mae has filled it with, uh, with these guys. Okay. I guess we're going to have to learn to speak Spanish at some point. Have y'all seen the new Pangle Corn Masher in the kitchen? Hmm, that sounds like a clue. Howdy, Paul. I can't find the hair of a weasel. That's easy, Paul. Lots of women around here wear weasel skin coats. <laughs> they found them someplace called Rodeo Drive. I guess they must have a whole lot of bull riding and bronco taming down there. Oh, ro Rodeo Drive. Got it. Her critters. These are her critters. That's her name. Four of them. Why would there be corn in the library? <laughs> no, I think now, honestly, the corn in the library makes slightly more sense. Like, I'm I'm with it now. I'm, I'm on board. Okay, corn masher. Here we go. So where do you think a corn masher is. I guess it's just the still. Oh no. What happened? <sighs> it's behind the still. Thank you. 
Can you pick it up from the label? I don't think so. God. What is this game, though? Like... actually do this part of the game already most haunted picture game i've ever watched yeah no it's really awful it's it's in a class of its own okay now jed just can't go through there so i guess we must have found out about granny mm. well here we go y'all now remember to get back to your car you have to go to this screen and then exit to the right. And that'll get you back in your car. Yeah, the Days of Ventura game, the production values are actually pretty decent. Here. Oh. Oh, when you're holding an item, it's down there. So I was still, like, capable of doing well. It seems we've made a mistake. We paid you another horrible mistake. Not the time it matches. Okay. Team. Something's got to give. It's me or this game. Okay, back to the Clampet Mansion. The Clampet Mansion. We are still missing the squirrel, but we haven't tried to go get that one in this playthrough, in this save yet. So I think we're good. Alright, the corn is there. Okay. Ellie, tell me about weasels. Oh, I guess I haven't read the, uh, the recipe yet. Okay. Uh, let's see what the bolt cutters. Let's fetch the bolt cutters. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me while I play this bad game. This is really something else. Like, I knew from the first little bit. I basically just played until I got to Beverly Hills. And it was like, okay, I can't spoil any more of this game for myself now that I've finished the rabbit puzzle and the, uh the driving puzzle and I had no idea I didn't know the game was also broken that was a twist let's see so we need to go upstairs to granny's sex dungeon oh yeah like you talk about the cat hair mustache puzzle that people like to bag on in Gabriel Knight 3 it's not great but then you remember that like outside of Lucas Arts and Sierra there were companies making just absolutely dismal adventure games. Just like horrible beyond comprehension. And it's hard to get too mad at Gabriel Knight 3 having like one puzzle that's a slight stretch of, you know, logic along the way. <laughs> that's a good point. You know, Pickled Dog, I think the Ikea comparison is, uh, is really apt. I actually like that a lot. It's like, yeah, Ikea furniture may not be the best, but if you tried other furniture in that price point and, uh, and style and, and seen what they're offering. Yeah. Okay. Great, great, great. Let's go, Jed. We're making great progress now. We've really figured out the layout of the mansion. We're just... Just knocking it out of the park, honestly. TBH, I don't think this could be going much better. Okay, so let's save here. Hopefully it'll work. Because so far, the game isn't really great at saving. Okay. Wow. It locked again.
it locked again for the second time going to the safe <laughs> has hung up the game <laughs> the music paused <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> my god I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what to do. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to be a humble streamer. I just wanted to share a bad game with friends, <laughs> and I just <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's broken me. It's completely broken me. Okay. Let's <laughs> just walk, watch a walk through on YouTube. <laughs> okay, Marjorie. First of all, thank you for trying to cheer me up with the Hillbilly Hot Dogs menu. Let me see if I can find a, a real banger on here. Uh, oh, what's good? What's good? Okay. Ray Hall's Red Hot Weenie. Ray Hall was a congressman from around here. A grilled spicy metwurst, nacho cheese, habanero sauce, hot mustard, sautéed peppers and onions, jalapeno, sauerkraut, and a toasted bun. That's $4.85 at Hillbilly Hot Dogs in LaSage, West Virginia. Is this worth reverse engineering to add to Scum VM? So I've 1,000%. Like, especially if you could fix some of it. Um, but I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking may have to happen. I think, for my own sanity, I may have to call it quits tonight. <laughs> I don't think I can do anymore. I think this game has broken me. Um, I think I'll try to come back tomorrow night and wrap it up. I think I'll come back Friday night around 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern time and see if I can finish this game and battle with it just a little bit longer. I'll bring a drink. This is a very good point. Uh, Kevin, I should definitely, um, uh, sort of, uh, <laughs> sort of lubricate that, uh, that process a little bit for now though. I want to thank everybody for coming out. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining me. I can't believe you're still here. If you are new to the channel and didn't stick around, it's been a pleasure seeing all of y'all before we head out. I have, uh, let's see, I could try a different game, but you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm in the headspace to enjoy anything anymore. This game has killed my joy. Um, all joy I had in life. This game has sucked away. And now we're just done. I can't. I just can't, guys. It's killed me. <laughs> this is super fun. Thanks for joining me. What I thought we'd do is maybe launch a raid. Uh, the Absurd Heroine is playing um, Quest for Glory 3, which seems like a much more interesting game than this one. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raid us over there. Um, come back tomorrow night. We'll see if we can finish this ding dang game. But for now, thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a terrific rest of your day and tell the absurd heroine that I sent you. And yes, thank you. And <laughs> see, Ben, I should have said that myself. Y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs>